we had this bird bath the pedestal had broken but the bowl was still working fine so i found kind of a concrete capstone lying out by in the barn and made it into a base so i would have another place for the bees to get something to drink so it's kind of fun seeing them using it today Okay, I'm giving the hive some sugar water today. We're going to show you how a front feeder works. I'll have my stand. It may not be the greatest videos in the world. This feeder is in the front of the hive. Just a mason jar it slides down in this front feeder it has holes in the top so what i'll do is take that lid off fill it full of that sugar water and then we'll put it back in the front of the hive okay i put sugar water inside the mason jar put the top back on and i'm just going to turn it over inside that little plastic container feeder and it just slides into the front of the hive so you can see it slides in it has an opening in the front where the bees can go in and get something to eat and it's small enough that it leaves an opening where they can still get in and out and that's how a front hive feeder works okay now i'm going to show how a top feeder works it's inside this box and the lid is on top of it and it's designed to kind of keep other insects from getting to it you can see there are some ants crawling around i will pour some cinnamon around the edge of this and that will get rid of the ants like one bee got into inside the feeder but basically the ants can go excuse me the bees can go up through the inside there and they can get the sugar water. So you'll see one bee is already trying to get into the sugar water. Just pour the sugar water into the top. Now what happens is the bees can crawl up inside this cup and they can come from inside the hive and they can get to the sugar water, but this cup keeps them from getting out into the water and drowning. Bees are bad to drown. And so this is designed to feed them so that they can get to the sugar from inside the hive. They never really have to leave the hive and it's also designed to keep them from drowning. So I'll put the top back on it, and then I will put the lid for the hive on top of that box. A little harder to do one-handed, but that's how a top feeder works. Okay, this is just another type of top feeder. Works on the same premise as the round one I showed you. It's just rectangle in shape and it's much larger, so it'll hold a lot more. And I have it on my largest hive. Okay, I'm going to try to do this pretty quickly because it is it is cold this morning, although there are bees out flying. But this hive needed a feeder. So what I've done is I've just taken a mason jar and I've poked some holes in the lid and put sugar water in it. And I'll turn it upside down on the opening in the inner hive cover. 
So you can see, here's the inner hive cover. And what I'll do is I'll just turn this upside down on top of that. And they should eat it. You can see it just creates little droplets in the bottom. And it does go down in the hive, but they should eat that. So hopefully that will do the trick. Gives me a feeder. It's not as fancy as some of the other feeders, but it is definitely cheaper. <laughs> so we're going to try that. It's my first time to use one of those. Sometimes people will just take you know, plastic containers with a snap-on lid, kind of like that white one over there, and we'll just fill it with sugar water and then turn it upside down. So inside that top box there, the one with the little breather hole that's got mesh on the other side, I have put a mason jar feeding them sugar water and I have that top box there around it just to keep, we have a real problem here with red wasps, but basically to keep them out of the top of the hive. Mm -hmm.